Hello. Uh, before we go any farther in the course, I'd like to talk a little bit about grading uh, exams and forums, because I, I know it's in the, the documents, but I wanted to say more about it. So first of all, your grade is determined by a variety of different types of assignments. Uh, we've all taken a quiz now, so we have these Moodle quizzes that you can take, and those will count for 10 points for each chapter. Uh, sometimes we'll have two for a chapter and it might be 20 points, but those will count towards your grade. You can take those as often as you like and only the best one will count. We'll also have discussion forums, at least one each week, sometimes two, and those are worth five points. And I'll, I'll say more about those later. And sometimes we'll have two of those for a chapter or in a week. And so that's about half your grade between those quizzes and those forums. And so it's uh, a big thing to keep up each week and do those things. Then in addition to that, we'll have exams. Okay, we're going to have unit exams. Generally, those are gonna be on anywhere from one to three chapters. You'll take those at home. They're a little bit different from the, the quizzes in that they cover more material and you only get one crack at them. So once you log in, uh, that's that you've got to finish it up and so you get an hour for the exam you get more questions uh, and you only get one crack at it and then you won't know for a couple days or maybe even a week how you did because um, I won't grade them until everyone has submitted theirs so the the exams are just like regular exams that you would take in a classroom in that you're on the honor system, but you're not supposed to um, have any contact with other students or other people. These are open books, so you may use your book, but they are timed, so you do have to know where things are at or at least be familiar with the topics. The good news is some of the questions you will have had before, and so some of the questions will be familiar, although there will be some new questions. They won't just all come from the quizzes. Um, and then, so there's four of those. Those are worth 50 points each. And then there is a final exam worth 100 points. Again, that's timed. There are two of the exams, though, that I have to mention that are proctored. That means you're taking them on the computer, but in a monitored location. You can either take them at the Highland Testing Center, okay, and you can do that for free when they're open, or you can take them at another proctored location, uh, and you'd have to contact me, and I can set that up. Uh, any other community college in the state, uh, most other colleges, even outside the state, have testing centers that are certified where I can I can have them give you a proctored exam. Uh, proctored exams at non-Highland locations may come with some fee. Usually, it's nominal, ten to fifteen dollars. And again, with the proctored exam, there's only two of them: exam three and the final exam. Those you you will have be able to use some materials with those, although not your book. Um, you'll be able to use notes with you and you'll have a limited time. And again, those will be some questions you've seen and some new questions. The only thing about the proctored exam is that you must pass the proctored exam with a D or better to pass the course. And so exam three and the final exam, so that's 150 points of proctored exams. Okay, and those will come up. Uh, if you can look at the schedule, you can see where they're coming up. Uh, the final exam will be during final exam week in December. The proctored exam is, is around midterm. Okay, so your grade will be made up then of those exams, the quizzes, and the discussion forums. To get an A in the course, you'll have to earn 90% or higher of the available points. Uh, a B will be between, you'll have to earn between 80 and 89%, a C between 68 and 79%, and a D would be between 60 and 67%. Okay, so uh, the, I hope that's clear. Quizzes, forums, and exams, two proctored exams. Uh, you'll be able to use some materials with you, but there are time limits, and so you'll have to be familiar with the tip materials and be able to answer things in a, a timely manner. Okay, so here goes. <laughs> All right, so this next um, 
this next item is the forum uh, grading rubric and I want to share that with you and talk about the forums a bit and forum grading. So um, in the forums you, they're worth up to five points uh, and for the forums I'm both looking at the for content of the forum, the quality of material, and how well developed it is. For a, a forum post to get all five points, that post will have to be timely. That means submitted within the time period allowed that week. And it will also have to have good mechanics. It will have to contain no errors in spelling or grammar. The sentences will have to be well written and read coherently. They'll have to be organized into paragraphs. Okay. The answer will have to answer the all parts of the question okay and it will have to cite relevant evidence or examples it will have to expand the discussion so that uh, it gets to the heart of the issue uh, good posts will also lead to new items of discussion there should be ample evidence that you thought about it that you've read the materials that were in the textbook and in the forum post material and that you've put those things together and made a thoughtful approach using science using what you know about human biology okay if there are mistakes in spelling or in grammar uh, if sentences haven't been proofread and don't read well if sentences are incomplete if your your answer at only addresses part of the question or is not fully supported with evidence and logic and examples, then you're going to get less than five points. Generally, people are going to get three to four points in, in those cases. However, if the answers are, are completely missing, or if they contain lots of errors in construction, um, if they fail to address an issue and are just statements of opinion or are unsupported by evidence or examples, then you might get only one or two points. Okay, so I wanna go over this with you. Uh, we had our first forum, the, the introduction forum, and generally I give everybody five points if they make a timely post there, um, but now it's going to get a little tougher. Um, and in addition, we're gonna kinda of change the rules. Okay, so not only am I going to grade your posts, but your classmates will be able to rate your posts and you will rate your classmates posts. It's one of the things I'll look to make sure that you've been doing. Um, so you will read their post after you've read the materials and then you'll evaluate it based on this form. Okay, And the grade that you get will depend upon the average grade of other raters. Okay, so that sounds crazy. I, I can't believe I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but uh, just uh, let me say a couple more things about it. I can read the grades that you've given. Okay, if if you're giving all fives to everyone, okay, I'll take away your ability to grade. Okay, if you're giving all zeros and ones or twos. I'll also restrict your ability to grade, okay? And then I'll change the grade. So be thoughtful in how you grade others. And you're just gonna assign them a number, but make sure you think about it. Um, I will give them some feedback in the, in the grade book, and so you'll, they'll be able to see that feedback. Uh, but be thoughtful. Uh, the other students can't see what you've given them for a grade but it can help them if you tell them what you like about their posts. And in, instead of complaining about their posts, say what you like about it. That's, um, that's a good way to, to remind people of what they've done well, and it can help them do that more later. And so if you wanna make a comment, uh, tell them what they've done well. You can also tell them when you disagree, that's perfectly fine. Um, and you can let them know and, and comment on their materials but it's also really helpful to let them know what they've done well. Okay, so we'll try this out. Maybe we'll have to make some course corrections later, but I'm hopeful that uh, this will be uh, an exciting new feature.